When I first started to watch Sword Art Online, Asuna wasn't one of my favorite characters. In fact, I wasn't sure how to feel about her, but she quickly dropped right into my heart. Ah, uh, another cheesy pun. Why do I do this, you guys? I don't know, but let's move on to the unboxing part of this review. With this being my first Figma, my review might be a little bit more detailed than my Nendroid reviews have been. But considering this is a different line of figures, the Figma box looks very similar to the Nendroid boxes. And now it's time to open her up. Again, I debated doing a live unboxing for you so you could see my initial reaction of my very first Figma. However, I completely forgot and only remembered during the filming of this video. The last part of the box I want to show you is the inside, and that's because it's a little bit more detailed and fun than your regular Nendroid box. Like many other figures, including Nendroids, Asuna's Figma comes cased in plastic to help protect all the pieces, and it has an extra piece so it can hold them all. The Figma itself is wrapped in even more plastic, and it actually has a lot of little plastic pieces in places like her wrists, her hair, and so on, which is more than I'm used to with an android. This Figma does come with a set of directions very similar to Nendroids. This just gives you a basic overview of some of the pieces and how to use them. One thing I found neat with the Figmas is that they come with these little Ziploc bags that makes it easy to store your pieces if you're not going to be storing them in the box. And guess what? Even more plastic, so this is definitely packaged very well. Before we go on to details and articulation, I just want to give you an overview of everything that comes in the box. So here she is, our Asuna Figma. For the most part, her paint job is really well done, but I did notice a couple of white paint spots on her upper left arm, which I'm trying to show you here, but they are very tiny, so it's not that noticeable. Now let's talk about her articulation. One of the first things you'll notice is, yes, her head does move, and so does her hair in the back. The front pieces don't move, but they are bendable, they just don't stay in place. Next you'll see her arm has three joints for her shoulder, elbow, and wrist. I did have a little trouble raising her arm all the way up because of her clothing, however it's not impossible to do. The next place where you can pose her is under her breastplate, which can move left to right and up and down a little bit. I think this Figma does a really good job at hiding the joint here, unlike some other ones I've seen. Take Inori from Guilty Crown, for example. If you've seen that one, you know what I'm talking about. And of course, if she can move her arms, she can move her legs, which also has three joints at her hip, knee, and ankle. The last noteworthy part that can move is the back of her coat. So now let's move on to some of the extra pieces that she comes with. As you can see here, she comes with eight other hands, and what's nice about the Figma is that it has this plastic piece to house all the hands. Since they're so small, it's greatly appreciated. Next she comes with two rapiers, and what's nice about the Figma is that the swords actually completely fit into the sheaths, unlike the Kirito Nendroid that I previously did a review on. To go along with her rapiers, she also has this piece that makes it look like she's attacking. This piece does slide out, and I can only think it does so the rapier can be easily inserted, however, I didn't have a problem placing it inside with it still in the whole piece. The sheath itself is easily attached and removed to Asuna's coat, so she can be carrying it with her. Now I want to quickly show you how her faceplates can be quickly changed. Like the new style of Nendroids, her faceplates can simply come out after removing her bangs instead of removing her whole head. I found that the face that she already comes equipped with is a very good fit, however the other two faces were hard to put on. 
she does come with a happy, battle-ready, and embarrassed face. The latter of which isn't detailed in this video because I got caught in a rainstorm while filming outside. Lastly, I want to take a quick look at the stand, which is very similar to a Nendroid's in terms of having a base and the plastic arm that sticks into the back of our Figma. Overall, I'm very happy that I chose Asuna as my first Figma. I think it does a great job at expressing Asuna's playful spirit, as well as her tough, serious exterior. Well that's it for my Asuna Figma review. Don't forget to comment down below telling me what you think of this Figma, subscribe to see more reviews, and as always, thanks for watching.